Welcome to Rocksaw Productions, where in this video we have an update, well, about me, about the channel, about our future, and a whole lot more. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions, and this is a different sort of video than what I've done to date on the channel. First, like always, if this is your first time to the channel, I want to take a second. Thank you for stopping by. It really means the world to me. It makes a difference in ways that you probably don't realize, but seriously, thank you. If this is your first time to the channel, do me a favor, check out some of the other videos that we have here. We have some great tutorials, tips and tricks, how to's, live stream archives, and a whole lot more. Uh, and if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button because with some of the news that I have to share with you today, I think you're going to want to see what we have going on. So my choice of what we have playing back here isn't coincidental. For those of you who know me or knew of me before Rocksaw Productions, since 2003, actually even longer before that, but since 2003, I've been involved in the world of RC cars and trucks. You know, people many times have asked me, why do I have the RC Driver magazines framed over here? Well, I helped, I was one of the original staffers that helped launch RC Driver magazines. I had the honor of interviewing Tony Stewart for those two issues right after he had won his first championship. It was, it was an amazing thrill. In 2005, I went to work for my current employer, and I've talked about him here on the channel before. And I have to announce that effective uh, February the 4th, I will no longer be employed in the RC industry. This is completely my call. I have actually made a career choice where I'm going to a different company that will allow me to get back into doing what I am very passionate about. And that's a lot of what we do here on Rock Solid Productions with the social media, with videos, with Twitter, with Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, of course. So I will be able to do that again in my day-to-day -day job. Now, the reason why I'm saying something about this isn't that, you know, Oh, good luck or anything like that, which I appreciate those that, that I've told already, you know, the, the well wishes there. Because I have worked for a company in the RC industry on Rock Solid Productions, except for on very rare instances, I have not had any RC related content. The reason for that is simple. I didn't want people to cry foul, say that there was a conflict of interest, or to say that basically I was providing lip service to my current employer. Now I used to do reviews of our own products and I would get that too. I just, I wanted to avoid all that. I am happy to announce that moving forward and I'll be incrementally adding this content to the channel, but I am announcing that we will be launching Rock Solid RC. And with that, we will take the same sort of approach as we have with retro and modern gaming, that we're going to look at the new stuff, we're going to look at some of the old stuff. We're going to talk about things from companies such as Team Associated. I'm sure we're going to have some Tamiya products on here. Uh, Team Losi Racing, Losi, um, Arma, Axial, Spectrum, Dynamite, Duratrax. Um, I have not reached out to anyone in the industry yet to see about doing anything um, that is something that with my history of what i've done in the industry i will be reaching out to people that i've worked with in the past and try to re-establish those relationships so we are going to be adding rock solid rc to the channel now i will have that as kind of separate from the from the retro video game stuff um, but it's what you've seen here we're going to see more of the same but now in the world of rc vehicles so if there's something you want to learn about the world of rc let me know we're not wrapping this up but let me know down in the comments you can always email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com uh, probably going to do a lot of tutorials and tips and tricks how to rebuild differentials how to fill shocks how to glue tires how to paint bodies all this sort of content that I've done over the years that quite honestly I haven't been doing in recent years so I have a lot of ideas of things that we will be bringing to the channel um, I really do appreciate those who have supported in the past and will continue to do so in the future it is also because of that support that I am proud to announce this is one of the last videos that you will see me film 
with what you're seeing me film right now as I have a pine top walking around down here. Hi, buddy. Um, basically, since the launch of the channel, I have to admit, I've used my cell phone for the most part to film. I started out with a, a Google Pixel XL. For a while, I used a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. This is recording on a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. But due to everyone's love, support, encouragement, donations through Patreon, donations to live stream and whatnot, I've made the commitment, I've pulled the trigger, and we will be featuring and utilizing a Canon T7i DSLR camera. Let's take a look what comes in the box because I'm really excited about this and I hope you guys are too because the video quality it's just going to get better and better. So here we have, this is a combo package I actually got from Best Buy. Um, it actually comes with the EOS Rebel T7i, and they call it the Video Creators Kit. It comes with the camera itself, a boom mic, uh, some other accessories. I've actually already opened this up, and uh, I got it over my lunch hour at work today, um, just to pull the battery out so that I could charge it up and be able to play with it a little bit tonight. So inside the box, registration card and then in the box itself we'll pull this bad boy out because it's all in this sleeve here I can set that aside inside we have the the road mic so what's nice about this is I've gone to a couple trade shows or not trade shows but conventions so far and I've either had my lavalier mic or my handheld uh, Riff over the Pixel Game Squad. This is very similar to what he uses on his camera, and I really like the way that his worked when we were in Portland. So I you know, picked one up as well. And here is the kit itself. Now, before we get to the camera, look at, it's pretty. There were a couple other items I did pick up right away too. And one of them, going back to the mic real quick, is they call this the Dead Cat windscreen for the microphone. It's basically just better than the foam that comes on it. So, yay. Like I say, I had been in here already, and this kit came with a 32 gig uh, SD card. It's a class 10, I believe. Yeah, class 10, ultra high speed. Now I did also purchase a 128 gig card as well, so we'll be ready to rock and roll. Holy manual, Batman. I have to admit, I'm excited about this because I've never owned a DSLR before. Let's see what we all have in here. So we have a Canon strap, which I probably won't use a whole lot. I don't know what's in there. We'll look in a moment. And here's the body itself. The other item that was in the box, which I've actually already, like I mentioned, removed, is the battery pack and charger. I'm not going to use any blades to open this up because I don't want to damage the body, quite honestly. I have owned Canon video cameras in the past, but like I say, this is my first DSLR. So there's the body right there. Pretty lightweight. I really like the overall size of it, and it's got a good weight to it too. And then this creator's kit actually did come with, like I mentioned, a lens. I believe it's an 18 to 55 lens. Yep, 18 to 55. Uh, and it does have image stabilization on it. Oh, I know what this is. That's the bottom, the cap for the battery. So why did I go with this one versus another camera? First of all, cost. It, was, it wasn't cheap, but it was not as expensive as some of the other camera setups that I'd seen out there. Um, the one thing that I really wanted, well, two things, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and this does both of them. Uh, another nice thing on here is it does have a flip out view screen that can spin around. So if I'm shooting this way, I can now actually see what it is that I'm shooting. Where normally, because I used a cell phone, I had the screen to my back, I didn't see anything. So if something went out of focus, I had no idea. Um, the other thing I really wanted on this too is right there, the fact that it has a microphone input so I can connect either my lav mics, the Rode mic, or my handheld right to this. So. The Canon T7i, I'm really looking forward to being able to work with this to provide you guys better looking content and I hope it looks a lot better than what we've been doing. Not that what we've been doing looks bad, but I think this will take it to the next level. I hope you all are as excited about the future of Rocksaw Productions as I am. It's We've had a lot of growth in a very short period of time, but to think the new opportunities 
and potential that this channel has in the future in the world of retro video games, now returning and adding the world of RC to what we're doing here. I hope you're really excited about because I am too. I, I know I'm kind of even tone right now, but I really am excited about it. I have been involved in the world of RC hobbies since 1992 or 1993. I have had a lot of success in my life due to the world of RC hobbies. And there are a lot of people I have to thank for that. Um, and I'm hoping to bring that passion, that knowledge, and that level of fun to Rock Solid RC. Like I mentioned earlier, if you've got any comments or questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments section. You can always send me an email at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. We're on Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And then don't forget, we've always got the conversation going over on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. Now, if you are looking to support the show, to get the inside information on what we have going on, to get one-on-one -on -one videos with me and more, make sure you head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you can help support the channel. Everything that you donate goes right back into what we're doing here on the channel. It's through the support of people, like I mentioned earlier, through Patreon, through Streamlabs, through Super Chats that allowed us to do things like we have more light boxes, we have the DSLR camera now, we're going to be able to add more content with the RC side of things. It's because of people like you that has made this all possible. And from the bottom of my heart, Thank you. I really appreciate it. But head on over to Rock Solid Productions over on Patreon if you want to support us there. And if you want to rock some Rock Solid Productions swag, like some t-shirts like I've got on here, head on over to our Teespring store where we've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, and more. And again, everything goes back and basically gets reinvested in the channel. If you're looking to pick up some really cool retro video game stuff, you've heard me talk about them in the past. I would not be where I am without him right now. Castlemania Games, head on over to Ryan's storefront. On most items, $20 and up, you do get free shipping and handling in the U.S. And if you use promo code ROX10, you actually get 10% off on most items on the website. And finally, like I mentioned at the top, we got a lot going on. We've got changes coming, additions coming to the channel, better quality coming to the channel. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That way you get to come and enjoy the ride with us because this has been a heck of a ride so far. We're not done yet. I am Gary. This is Rock Solid Productions. Rock Solid RC is coming. Better video quality is coming. I thank you for watching. Let's have some fun. I'll see you soon.